I just wanted to show you a hack for making your own pump sack for the push-pull type valve that you find on a varying number of uh, sleeping pads, backpacking sleeping pads. What I used was some, I had some leftover, I believe this is seal nylon that I bought from Ripstop by the roll. I used this for another project, but I had this, uh, you know, a fair amount left over. So what I did is I sewed it into a sack form, but left one corner open. Then I found a pill bottle that was almost the size of the uh, push-pull valve. And I put it into this corner. Let me see if I can get this turned inside out. Let me see how I attached it. Poked it through. That. I stitched that hole closed enough that I could slip this just big enough to accommodate the uh, push the pill bottle through. And before putting it in here, though, I, you can see I drilled a hole in the bottom of this bottle. This little container. And anyway, I slipped it with into the material in the hole that I left in the corner. And I taped it first on the inside around the material just to kind of seal it off. And turned it right side out and taped again on the outside to hold that. So what ends up, this pill bottle's just sticking out this corner. Now I ended up having to, where I stitched, I used some um, silicone and sealed off the uh, stitching around here because otherwise the air would blow out through here. I need to go reseal it. I've used this for a couple of years and there's a little bit of air that escapes now only just because of use that's cracked. But anyway, I uh, then, to make this fit tightly on here to keep air from escaping around, I put a layer of electrical tape on the inside just to narrow it just a tiny bit, just so that it fits snugly on here. There, and it does. And that is how I blow it up. Now, the next thing I would you would do, make sure that valve is open, blow just a little air into the pump sack. And then, of course, one-handed, this is going to be hard. We would just push until it fills it up. And do that several times. I think I, I, three or four times would get this, this whole pad filled up. But anyway, just a really inexpensive um, hack if you don't want to buy a pump sack. I'm not, I'm not even sure they make it for this type of valve. Seems like I couldn't find one. That may be why I did that. Or maybe it's just because my cheap self wanted to make something. Either way, that's one way to do that. Uh, they used to sell kits. I've seen people with that, but I haven't been able to find any of those anymore. So there you go. Just some material that's... This is seal nylon, I believe. You could do seal polyester. Something that just wouldn't allow the air to come through it. Seam seal the stitching. Poke your pill bottle through or any other bottle that would work just be sure you, you drill out the bottom of it to let the air go now let me show you also this same sack will work for another style plug and I'll show you that in just a second all right now my second sleeping pad that I had purchased the static D Lux SL had a different style valve and I was not able to use I thought this bottle on here because this is made to slip over that uh, push-pull type valve but I realized if I <clears throat> turn the sack inside out and use this other end that it would actually fit into that valve it just snapped perfectly in there into that hole and I was able to inflate it like that Works the same. So actually, I did not know it, but I made a two-in-one uh, inflator. Hope that helps y'all. Gives you some ideas of how you can do something when you can't find what you're looking for. How to think through things and research and come up with something. I love do-it-yourself projects. This is one I'm really proud of. Not not boastful proud, just really tickled that I came up with and it helped me a lot because I cannot stand blowing up a pad at the end of a long backpacking day I'm sure that's not that is the last thing I want to do anyway hope that helps you
You can see I need to replace some of this because it's gotten kind of, ugh. That has, it's gotten chewed up because when I use this bag to put my sleeping pad in when it's deflated for transport. And I reason that's chewed up on the end right there is because I end up, I just snap that top back on there. I don't just to, just because. I guess it keeps water out if it got in my pack. But anyway, I roll up my sleeping pad and I put it inside here and just tie a little knot in that. And uh, that becomes my stuff sack. Hope this helps you out. If you found anything useful about this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.